the biggest advice that I have is not to be afraid to take the first step to create uh, the impactful project or the dream project that you have always been uh, thinking about. I am Ritik Bhatia and I was born in Mumbai in India. I came to Singapore uh, when I was 18 years old for my undergraduate uh, studies at Nanyang Technological University. I would say that I have been a developer long before I started my undergraduate degree at NTU. Actually, when I was around 13 years old, I uh, found it quite fascinating that you could just make computers do stuff by talking to them through programming. During my university, I was actively involved with the Google Developer Student Clubs as well, so that I could polish my skills in data structures, algorithms, programming in general. There's usually a very steep learning curve. Every language will have new syntax or a new way to code stuff out. You have to develop the skill of going to the internet and uh, trying to find uh, the perfect answers to what you're trying to look out for. My experience with Solution Challenge was really interesting and exciting. I have always wanted to use my skills and technology to uh, create something that would be impactful for the human world. Dementia Care was a mobile application that was meant to be a one-stop solution for dementia caregiving. The major motivator for us to for building this application was the fact that we had a couple of personal relations uh, suffering from dementia and we knew firsthand uh, regarding the pains of dementia caregiving. The app was divided into two parts. One was the caregiver side, which was extremely feature-rich, like receive SOS messages directly regarding the patient that they are assigned to, get to know about their life updates, how long has it been since they have used their phone, any news, and even access to a rich community of caregivers and experts themselves on the app. We also had an automated chatbot that could answer some of the most commonly asked questions. But in a stark contrast, we had the patient side, which was actually meant intentionally to have a very simple user interface because we did not want to overload the patient with many features. It had a very big SOS button where they could just click it and it would send an SOS to all the people that they had registered and a couple of memory boosting games. We had utilized Google's Flutter framework for making the mobile application and all the, our database was basically hosted on Firebase. We were really thrilled to know when we got into basically the top 50 we got a, a Googler who helped us out for uh, fine-tuning a solution. All of Google's uh, online resources were really helpful, especially like the online documentation. We would have in general like networking events so that you could just uh, reach out to developers across uh, your city and across different universities. For the tech sharing sessions, they were really insightful in the sense that I learned a lot about new technologies, things that I never worked with before, like image recognition, machine learning, etc. Being with GDSC was uh, a really uh, important part that helped me into getting into Google and is still helping me fulfill my duties as a software engineer at Google, working with the Google Pay team. The thing that I loved about GDSC the most was that it acted as the platform that attracted the best developers. It provided us the platform to network with each other and it provided us the platform to hone our skills and take them to the next level. Once you get into the mood of learning about the different technologies, the internet is like a wonderful place. It has an entire community of people who are willing to help you at every step along the way. Take the first step and get into the uh, development zone. <laughs>